And joining us now, Monica Crowley, former assistant treasury secretary and host of the Monica Crowley podcast. You won't invite me on. And DeRoy Murdoch, senior fellow at the London Center for Policy Research and Fox News contributor. Um, Monica, happy birthday. Thank you, Larry. And of course, you are always welcome on my show. Last time I invited <laughs> you, you couldn't do it. So I'm not going to ask any penetrating don't... questions. I'm just going to say happy birthday. Well, thank you. How's that? Thank we'll you, let, Larry. We'll, I appreciate we'll it. We'll let it go. Right. Now, uh, let me begin with you. Um, I riffed at the beginning of the show, good Wall Street Journal editorial today. Among the many problems out there, I mean, we talked about the inflation election, the recession election, the border election. I just think a simple theme here is you need to elect Republican House and Senate to stop the bad stuff, to check the, um, as Newt would say, big government socialism that has really taken the country down in the last 20 months. I mean, just stop them by putting checks and balances in. Wouldn't that be an effective uh, campaign theme? A absolutely. And I've been very critical of the Republicans to date because it doesn't seem like there's been any kind of coherent messaging coming from the Republican Party. We know how bad Biden is and the Democrats. This is an historic catastrophe. The American people are living this on the ground every day, whether it's inflation, gas prices, a weakening economy, or whether it's spiking crime, cities in collapse, the wide open border, and all of the problems associated with that. So yes, the Republicans should be reminding the American people of those catastrophes, but at the same time doing exactly what you're saying, which is founding fathers created an adversarial system right. and built in right. checks and balances. We just right? don't have it now. So we don't have it. And so the socialists who are basically running the country right now have free reign. So the Republicans, absent any other message, should be saying, yeah, right there. look, they're driving the country into the ground, elect us, and we promise to, number one, put a stop to it, stop the hemorrhaging, and then number two, advance a pro-growth economic agenda and a pro-America, America first agenda uh, in all other areas. You're right. You know, the other thing is, if you re-elected this Democratic Congress with uh, the Biden White House, um, they'll end the filibuster. Mm -hmm. They will attempt to unionize everything, take free choice away from workers, for example, and right-to-work states, federalize election law, and then, of course, spend more, tax more, and regulate more. So these are all, to me, this idea of checks and balances is a unifying theme. That's why I'd like to see more of it. It's a great theme, and uh, happy birthday, Monica. Thank you, Jerome. Uh, it's a great theme, and I think we really can, we can put it one of two ways. One is, are, are you better off now than you were two years ago? Mm -hmm. You look at inflation, which is 1.4% uh, when uh, Biden showed up. It's 8.3% now. You look at the border, which was more or less under control. There's no border anymore. I refer to it as the, quote, border, unquote, which mm -hmm. is what it is at the moment. And so do you want to use the brakes and, and get the Republicans to come in and, and limit the border, address crime, stop the spending, et cetera, et cetera? Or do you want more gas pedal? You want to floor it, and as you say, not, not just have more of the same, but have much, much even worse things happen, such as you mentioned, uh, H.R. 1, this effort to have the federal government come in and take over elections mm -hmm. and uh, take mm -hmm. a lot of the nonsense that we did back in uh, 2020 and because of COVID. Filibuster. And add the add stuff. And they the filibuster. Try to end the if filibuster. you end the filibuster, then you've and got Washington, D.C. as Katie a state. Katie Barr the door. Rico as a state, et cetera. Right. Uh, you know, 15 people on the Supreme Court and on, and, and lots of other ideas we haven't even thought of yes. yet. So I would say, uh, you know, are you, a couple of points. Number one, are you better off now than you were two years ago? You're not. Well, how do you stop that? By putting the Republicans to step on the brakes and keep this nonsense from continuing or even getting worse. I mean, Monica, she, she sort of had, I, I don't know who said this. Maybe you said it. Maybe you said it. Someone said it. The Democratic Party today is a battle between the left and the far left. Okay? The old Democratic Party, the old centrists, the old moderates, the old culturally conservatives, it's gone. It's a far left party. And the point here is, if you don't put in checks and balances through the election, they're going to do more. They're not going to move to the middle. They're going to move further to the left. Well, that's right. And I keep saying this on my podcast and here and elsewhere, Larry, that this Democratic Party is not the Democratic Party of JFK no. or even Bill Clinton. This is now a revolutionary party. This is a neo-Marxist revolutionary party. And every American needs to be aware of that. If you're just by rote or culturally a Democrat and you just keep voting, Democrat, you have to understand that a vote for the Democratic Party now is a vote to deliberately torpedo the country. Joe Biden and this administration, if they had any kind of 
moderate impulses. Right. They would have course corrected. You would have seen a course correction on the economy, on the border, uh, elsewhere, Afghanistan. You have seen none Nothing. of that. So you and DeRoy are exactly right that if they hold on to Congress, it is going to be Katie bar the door because, look, they lost four years under President Trump. He was never supposed to be president. It was supposed to be eight years of Obama and then eight years of Hillary to lock it all in. So now they are working with all deliberate speed to try to make up for the four years they lost under Trump. And if they get these two additional years with a continuing Democratic Congress, you can forget about America. Duroy, 20-second wrap. It's like, if you like what we have now, then vote for them. But if you don't like what we have, it's time for checks and balances. That's right. If you, if you, like, what's, if you like what's going on, just you know, let's pour more gravy on top of it. If you don't, then stop. And I agree with you. These people are far, far left. They're not just trying to raise taxes a little bit and help out the poor people. They're trying to throw criminals back out on the streets. They're sexualizing five and six year old kids. This is I, I this, like is, this is a Marxist party, not a Democratic yes. party. Constitutional checks and balance has a nice American history ring to it, which people absolutely will like, right. since they're trying to deny American history. Monica Crowley, happy birthday, Jerry Murdoch. Thank you. As